Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. I just wanted to kind of do an announcement video. For the past three months, I've been doing the official LaunchBox tutorials on their channel. I just want to let my viewers know because I've had a lot of people ask me to cover some more LaunchBox. In the past, I did LaunchBox videos on my channel by myself before they ever contacted me because I love LaunchBox and Big Box. This, in my opinion, is the easiest and, this is my opinion, the best emulation front end for Windows right now. It is hands down amazing. This here is the free version. They do offer a paid version of Big Box. You can download this right now and use it. The best part about LaunchBox is it automatically downloads all of your box art and metadata for you. So most of my stuff is running within RetroArch, but I have a few standalone emulators here like Nintendo 3DS. This actually works amazing. This is Citra. I'm going to go into Neo Geo and this is standard box art here. We'll go to image type, 3D boxes. We also have some screenshots, well, screenshots here. It's pretty cool, but I'm gonna go to their YouTube channel. And yeah, for the last three months from, let's say, where is it? From the Super Nintendo emulator video, I've been doing all of these here, all the way up. So I'm not trying to sell this to you guys. You can try the free version. If you like it, you can buy the big box version. I'm gonna show you the big box version. If you buy LaunchBox, I don't get paid at all. I endorsed LaunchBox way before they hired me on to do their official tutorials because I love the product. Let's go ahead and start big box. You can start it from within LaunchBox here. So this is big box mode. You can customize it however you'd like and you don't have to go through any config files or anything like this. These are the platform videos. These are made by James Baker. Shout out to him because he does an amazing job on these videos. You also have the option to set up collections or classic collections, whatever you'd like. I have a few arcades listed here. I've been experimenting with some different MAME and I haven't changed the logo yet. So you'll see some blank arcade going through here. Game & Watch. Got a lot of different classics here, like Konami, Odyssey 2, Midway Classics, and you can also import your movies. That's the last video I did on the LaunchBox channel. Really cool feature. MS-DOS, I mean, this is just a beautiful front end. So I have mine set up in the cover flow system when we want to go in and select a game. Now, there's tons of options. This is what I like. I like the full screen cover flow, but right now I have it set up as cover flow with some information underneath it. So I'll give you a quick peek at the options here. Well, the view options. So we'll go to options, views. There's a lot of views in here. So we can go to platforms, play modes, playlist. I actually don't have the cover flow system set up. If you look underneath this game list view, I have horizontal boxes with details, but there's tons of options in here. I'll show you how mine look when I go into a platform. I'll just go to NES and show you how mine looks. Horizontal box art, down below we have some detailed information about each game. You can also have music playing from the game as soon as you choose it if you'd like to. Launching games directly from within here and it will launch RetroArch for me. You have to set up each one of your emulators but it's totally worth it, it's so easy. If you want to get started, head over to the LaunchBox YouTube channel so you can check out those tutorials. There are tons posted. I also have some on my own channel that I did a while ago. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I just wanted my viewers to know that I am doing LaunchBox tutorials, but it's on their channel right now. Pretty good stuff. Go ahead and try this. At least download the free version and check it out. If you've been using the Raspberry Pi to do emulation, try PC. PC is way more powerful, and there's just more emulators available for Windows right now. Like always, thanks for watching.